welcome back and today we are off to the African savanna. Yes, the usual cat hairs. I don't usually bother digging them out too much, but when you do plain clear resin, they really show, so dig them out. <laughs> I was looking around on Amazon for inspiration for the next project and came across this fantastic tattoo. It really spoke to me and I thought, yeah, I can do something with that. Some people have asked questions about tattoos. Now, a lot of people, myself included, apply them directly to the silicone. Now, this is because they have something to grip onto, they have a surface. But I don't usually do it on cured resin because cured resin is very shiny. But you can do it as you can see here. My only warning is if you put a tattoo directly onto the resin because it doesn't have a surface, when you wet your tattoo make sure you saturate it properly because I have had instances where I've tried this technique on the cured resin and there's been a little bit of that white paper that hasn't been saturated properly and the whole design can either tear or just concertina because it's got no traction. So this is why myself and I believe other people usually apply a tattoo directly to silicone but it works just be careful these tattoos are very delicate but you can go over them with a wet wipe just to make sure they're flat and it also gave my boy a little bit of heat gun <laughs> the reason why i'm going around the edge of the tattoo with a cotton bud is just to shine it up a little bit so this will be the resin that has all the colors in it. And I chose the colors as closely as I could that I thought would match to go with the colored parts of his mane. And they worked out pretty well. I was very happy with the color matching. These little sachets of mica, there's only three ounces in each bag. Now I have made a project with these colors before so there's probably about one and a half ounces left in each bag. So that's why I just chucked it all in because <laughs> it wasn't that much. If you're familiar with my videos and you're a beginner, my advice is if you want to get a lot of colors, but you don't want to buy large quantities of colors that in the end you might not like, it's good to buy sets of colors so that you can try them. These colors made by Baltic Day, they come in three ounce baggies and there are 100 of them. Now some of the colors do look a little bit similar, but all in all, it's a nice color range. And if you want to just dabble around in a variety of colors, then this is the way to do it. And if a company sells samples like these, and then you find that there is a particular color that you like, you can go and purchase a larger quantity. 
I don't know if this company does that, I haven't really checked into that, but I think they do 3 ounce samples and 5 ounce samples. But the colours are fantastic. I mean, they really are nice. They're, I don't know if these are pearlescent, but they almost look pearlescent. Very nice supply of colours. some fun swirling around your colors remember you have a tattoo under there so go carefully around that area otherwise in the areas that are free of tattoo you can go crazy <laughs> like I did I got a little bit obsessed doing this and I almost mesmerized myself with all the lovely swirly colors so yeah it can be a little bit addictive So I just kept adding to the mould with my various colours and blending them in. Yeah, as I say, this is just addictive. I could have done this all day. And the little bit of resin that I had left in the cup, I just poured it in at the bottom. It had no colour in it, it was just the last little bit of clear resin that wasn't poured into the colour cups. And then I put all the colours back in the big pot, mixed them all together and dumped it in. That was mostly just to make up quantity because this does take a lot. A molding day. See what I mean about the pattern on the back? How it looks so nice. It looks like a planet. See what I mean about those colors? Fantastic. And because you've put the tattoo underneath the resin, there's no need to spray it with anything because these tattoos, if you put them directly on the silicone mold, they stay sticky. So you need to put a protective coat over them. Doing it this way, you don't need to do that version on the left is the first version I made and I really loved it until I saw the new project <laughs> and then that became my favorite. 